All right, this morning we're here to help you become mentally tough. It was the great Muhammad Ali who said, in the big leagues, everybody has ability. It takes, and it comes down to mind games. Whoever is more mentally strong wins. Well, this is the big leagues. This is life we're talking about here. And that quote is true inside and outside of the ring. Let me say it again for your notes. Everyone has ability. It always comes down to mind games. Whoever is more mentally strong wins. It's true, everyone has ability. You have great abilities, whether you see them or not, whether you choose to realize them or not, you have the ability to succeed at those things that you want. But in the end, it will come down to your mind. If you become mentally strong, you will win. If you don't, you will be left to envy those who do. So this morning, let's toughen you up. You ready? Here's the deal. I have bad news and then I have good news. So let's start with the bad news, shall we? The bad news is you are mentally weak. It's true. We all are, in fact. As humans naturally, left to our own innate tendencies, our minds are weak, at least when it comes to achieving your big, hairy, and audacious goals. Your mind is what sabotages you the most. The epic battle of your life will be defeating the natural will of your own mind. Your body can do way more than your mind wants to allow it to do and your potential is far greater than your mind wants you to stretch and go for. If you don't have the body, strength, life, or success that you want, I'm telling you, it's your mind's fault. This might be surprising to you. You might be thinking, well, why would my mind wanna do this to me? Why is it sabotaging me? Why is it holding me back? Well, to answer that, we have to look at the agenda and the self-interest of the mind. The mind, you see, your brain, has only one agenda, which is survival at all costs. Survival is its only job, and it takes that job very seriously and is very good at it. But outside of that, it has no interest. And it will work against whatever you are trying to do if it is a potential threat to its safety or its survival. You see, when you are running or biking up a hill or climbing a mountain, it will tell you to stop, that you can't go any further or any longer, far before your body's true limit. The interesting thing is though, when survival is threatened, your brain can get you to finally tap into that raw, awesome potential that you had inside you all along. You remember the Incredible Hulk? Well, you live your life like David Banner until you're threatened. Then something triggers inside. That's when the Incredible Hulk is awakened and it comes alive. Then you can do the most incredible things. The woman who complains to her trainer that the 20 pound dumbbells are too heavy for her, sees her son about to get crushed by a car that has fallen off its jack with her son under it, her survival instincts kick in and the Incredible Hulk emerges and she lifts that car up with her bare hands, holding it off its wheels long enough for the neighbors to come over and pull her son out to safety. That's a true story, by the way. The guy who is squeamish about cutting the Thanksgiving turkey gets his arms stuck in a rock formation, is about to die until the Hulk comes out and saws off his arm with a blunt tool to survive. You already know that that's a true story. You saw that at the movies. At the survival game, your mind is a freaking champ. That's how we got here. That's how we've made it so long. Outside of survival though, your brain is weak or better stated, not interested. It lives like David Banner. It only activates your incredible Hulk power under threat, alert, danger, and survival. Now, the good news is this. You can hack into that power. In the ludicrous course of the Insane Productivity Curriculum, I teach six very strategic ways to hack your brain, your brain to draw out that incredible Hulk power to achieve big ass goals. We don't have the time to cover all those here, but I do wanna walk you, have you walk away with a few things that you can do starting right here this morning. Let's pick an area that you wanna be better at, a weakness that you wanna conquer, an area that you want to be more mentally tough in. Is it your health? Is it sales prospecting? Is it how you spend your money? What? Just pick one thing and write it down. Then the first hack is to scare your brain straight. Put it under threat. Fear is your friend when it comes to stimulating your mind. Look, you can set out all sorts of aspirational goals, hopes, dreams, and desires. Those are a snore to your brain. Who cares? It says blah, 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 not interested. But threaten it, show it danger, spell out dire consequences, and you have its full attention and its full potential. So start with spelling out the consequences if you don't change this behavior or habit. Take it out to its most dire and terrible consequences and outcome. Threaten it. 
you'll get its attention and thus its incredible potential. What will happen if you don't change your eating habits? Talk to people who have diabetes, people who have suffered strokes and heart attacks. Talk to the loved ones of those who have lost parents too early due to poor choices. What will happen if you don't grow your sales, your commissions, your business? How would it affect your family if you went bankrupt? Drive over to the other side of the tracks where people who quit on their goals have to live. Write down all the people who would be disappointed by your failure. What kind of shame would you feel? What other embarrassing consequences would it cause? Trust me, that in your mind, you can do some amazing things when it wants to, but only when it wants to. Its motivation is only triggered when it's threatened and attacked. Tomorrow, I'll cover two more important ways to hack your brain and take control of its awesome power for self-actualization, not just mere survival. Today, just focus on the first point. Identify the one area that you wanna become more mentally tough in, then go scare the hell out of your brain. Just make sure you aren't wearing your Sunday best when the green Incredible Hulk busts loose. And I'll see you right back here tomorrow and we will continue to supercharge your mental prowess.